Well, also tonight it appears that it will be no go or perhaps no goal in terms of rescheduling some youth hockey playoffs after a racially charged incident at a league game. Now, despite the pleas of some coaches and players and parents, the league says because the incident has yet to be fully investigated, the games cannot go on. That's the result that I don't like. After a game in January in which a couple of players from the Cheektowaga Warriors taunted Rashawn Brown Hall of the Amherst team with racial epithets and ape noises in an incident caught on tape, Warriors coach Ken Phillips, who was not at the contest where his assistant led the bench, says appropriate punishments were handed out. The coach and two children have been suspended four games already. But then the Western New York Amateur Hockey League canceled the playoff set for mid-March between the same two teams with the winner to take on another from West Seneca. I think that's wrong. He says this not only unfairly punishes the players on his team who are not involved, but also the Amherst players, including the subject of the taunting Rashawn Brown Hall. And now he don't get to play either. And the team from West Seneca, which wasn't even there. So West Seneca has nothing to do with it, and they sit there idle. And some of them, that's their last game. They're, they're aging out. They're not able to play anymore. And it was just ripped from them. I talked to uh, Jim Tracy, the coach of Amherst, the other day. He wants to play these games. In an email, the league director, who declined to appear on camera, told us this matter is currently being handled by the New York District. A decision has not been rendered, nor has any determination been made to finality. Therefore, the games will not be played. While that governing body told us it is within the league's discretion whether to reschedule the games. And if you need to put a suspension down and reprimand, then, then please do so. But don't make everybody suffer because that's the easy way out. You're not teaching them nothing. You know, I think it's a I think it'd be a great story to let them play this game. And maybe everybody can see them shaking hands and giving each other a little hug on the way off the ice, like what really happens at the end of the game, that nobody tapes that. Phillips insists it's not too late to reschedule those playoff games, saying there is ice time available for another week. And while sources indicate that as early as this week, there could be further conclusions made as a result of the ongoing investigation in terms of future policies and where things now go from here, they may not come in time for a rescheduling to be possible. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.